Hi, this is Rebecca from Storyteller Wool, and I'm talking today about how to move a rug on a frame, on a grip or strip frame. So here is my doorstop uh, draft guard uh, that I'm working on, and I've already moved it on the frame. And I was gonna take it off and steam it, but I've decided I wanna change the color of these curly cues. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I move things. Now first, um, we pop the monk's cloth off, and even if the yarn came all the way over here, the, the importance of popping is so that we don't disturb the loops, but you know, there aren't any loops on this side. So we pop it off all the way around, and then it's particularly uh, good with this one because I just have it in the one, one area. Here's my yarn on the gripper strips and I just roll it in the direction away from the gripper strips. So I just roll it off. And see, it came off, no problem. Um, just a little dog hair on it, that's it. And now I'm gonna put it back on the frame so that I can change these colors. And also um, a good thing to notice is the curl. Uh, a punched piece with yarn is gonna have a certain curl to it. And that's a good thing. Uh, you want that. Uh, you don't want it completely curled up, but you don't want it limp. If it's, it's really limp, then you didn't get enough yarn in it. All right, so now I'm gonna place my piece on back on the frame. And I really wanna minimize the amount of strain that I put on it on the side where the gripper strips are. So I wanna figure out where it needs to lie because there will be some good stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down. So there's the gripper strip underneath here. And now see, I don't have enough room. Okay, let's try it again. So we want it basically right here. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna give it a nice big tug this way so it lays on the gripper strips and it'll allow me to get it nice and tight going this way without pulling against the loops. So now from this side, I'm gonna tighten it up. And on these sides. And it, a nice tight surface makes a big difference. And a good thing to remember is, this is what Amy Oxford taught me, you have your, your karate chop, and then you kind of, these are kissing ducks. So the, you, you karate chop it, you get your kissing ducks, and then you can really get some nice, uh, pull and get it a lot tighter so I go around and do that so now it's on the frame it's sitting on the loops over here and I'm gonna pull out these curly cues and punch it in a different color then I'm gonna take it off the frame steam it sew back on it and stuff it and it is going to be a draft guard for my very drafty studio door so thank you very much